Hi children today we are going to start the new chapter that is simple machines we know that machines makes our work easier now what do you mean by machines tools and objects that help us to perform the same amount of work with much less effort than if we did the work manually are called machines now can you think about some examples for machines we know that it is very difficult to open the lid of a tin can with our bare hands so instead of opening a lid of tin can with bare hands we can use a spoon so here the spoon makes our work easier with less effort so spoon acts as a machine we can use a knife for cutting the fruits and vegetables very quickly and easily like a spoon knife we use many other simple tools such as a pair of scissors a screw driver or a hammer to perform various tasks with much less effort than if we worked with our bare hands thus in general we can say that all the tools and objects that help us to perform the same amount of work with a much less effort are called machines we can classify them machines into two they are simple machines and complex machines machines that have few or no moving parts are called simple machines whereas the machines that have many moving parts are called complex machines there are many simple machines around us spoons knives hammers nail cutter beam balance scissors cycle opener etc are examples for simple machines now what about complex machines machines such as sewing machines washing machine car fan etc which are having many moving parts are the examples for complex machines so whether it is a simple machine or complex machine the purpose of this machines are to make our work easier now what do you mean by work we know that if we are studying for a long time or if we are thinking something for a long time we'll say that we are doing some work however in physics they are not considered as work according to physics work is said to be done when a force applied on an object displaces the object in the direction of the force here we can see that the object is displacing in the same direction to which we are applying the force so we can say that in activities such as reading thinking or studying the position is not changing if the position is not changing means it is not working according to the concept of physics when you pick up a book from a table there is a change in the position of the book because of the force applied by your hand so since there is a change in position of a book we can say that it's doing some work drawing water from a well kicking a ball and climbing up a hill are some more examples of work being done when you run you work when you run you use the energy in your body after a while your energy gets used up thus you will feel tired that means when we have more energy we can work more and we when we have less energy our ability to work gets reduced that means to work we need energy now what do you mean by energy energy is defined as the ability to do work or we can say that energy is the capacity for doing work that means till now we have learned that the tools which help us to perform some work with much less effort are called machines and these machines are classified into simple machines and complex machines whatever be the machines it is helping us to do some work and work means 
the object will be moving in the direction of the force finally there will be a change in position and for doing the work what we need it is all of about energy and energy is the ability or the capacity for doing a work so learn this topics from the textbook that's all for today thank you and have a nice day